Okay, I want to talk a little this morning about the model that you're going to make. And uh, it is it is larger than life, but meant to represent the index finger with a thumb post. And so proportionally, these are about anatomically correct. They're just larger. Um, a thumb only has a metacarpal. The index finger, which is the functional part, has a metacarpal, a proximal phalanx, middle phalanx, and distal phalanx. All the instructions are there for assembling the joints, putting the little straws in to act as pulleys to keep this string in line, same thing on the extensor side, putting ligaments to prevent the joints from moving too much. You'll find that without the ligaments, it moves uh, in too much flexion. Um, extension is checked by mostly by the ends coming up against each other, which is definitely not anatomical, just functional. And so what do we have? We have the, this orange string, which is the flexor digitorum profundus, which flexes every joint if you pull hard enough. The extensor digitorum, which extends every joint. And then this small blue fiber, which the string that goes anterior to the MCP joint and then travels posterior to the PIP and DIP joints, and that is the lumbricle, which flexes the MCP, extends both IPs. So full flexion, and some you can see sometimes the DIP doesn't flex, and that's because there's too much tension in these uh, dorsal tendons. 